All right, we're gonna go over removing a spider. Uh, first, you got your retainer nut on the top. I believe it's about an inch and a half socket. I bought the special one. You can get them online. I don't remember how much are there. Forty bucks or something. Um, you'll need the uh, spider removal tool. You can make one too. I just bought it for time's sake. Um, definitely could have made one. Um, but it just fits over your spider. It's got a hole in the center of it to go around your uh, stationary sheave, the post on your stationary sheave for your uh, cover. Um, just contacts that. So when these are put on, you're using green Loctite or sleeve retainer. Um, so we will have to apply some heat to these to break that loose. Um, I've done another video on, on putting one together, but you, uh, when you're going back together, it's, I believe, 80 foot-pounds on the retainer nut and 250 foot-pounds on the, on the spider. So you'll have to get yourself a big-ass torque wrench. Because you want to make sure you're to the right, uh, the right torque, but... Let's skip the bullshit and get applying heat. Time's of the essence on this one. I like using an electric heat gun versus a torch. Then you're not messing with a flame. It's just everything's a little bit cleaner. I guess mine's a Wagner. It's probably 30 bucks at Lowe's. As you're heating this, the key is to kind of listen a little bit. I'll turn the music down. As you're heating this up, you should kind of listen because you can actually hear the the Loctite popping, popping a little bit, kind of a snap, snap, crackle, pop. Just that way, if you're hearing that, at least try to pull on it and you can avoid the possibility of uh, overheating stuff. I don't like applying more heat than I have to, so. Main thing is to take your time, ride the line of, of not applying too much heat, but you also need to make sure you got enough heat on there to break the Loctite loose. I've cracked these spiders, turning them off before you got them hot enough to loosen that Loctite up. And that just pisses you off because it kind of renders the whole clutch useless. Um, these clutches are all balanced, that's why you've got... Uh, you got dots or lines for indexing these things as they go back together and it's important you put them back together the right way what I haven't done yet is is looked into exactly how people are are balancing them because I got a lot of parts clutches I'd like to you know, even look into remachining the faces going through and trying to true everything up in the machine center and then rebalancing those clutches especially if when we're racing, I think clutching efficiency is just 90, 90 plus percent of the game, especially when you're running stock classes like we are for a lot of stuff. I just heard a sounded like a splinter. That's that's the sound of that Loctite letting loose.
Trying to get as long a breaker bar or bar you can for this. It just helps you control things better. You know, if you're working with a short bar, you're monkeying around, it can be detrimental. Um, that spider removal tool I was showing you has got a got a good long extension on it too, so which is good because I don't got a lot. I don't have a lot of lead in my ass, so it makes turning on some of this heavier crap a little more difficult. It's not screeching on the way off. Yeah, there it's making a little noise. If you're making a lot of noise, stop and apply more heat. Means uh, means that Loctite isn't loosened up far enough. And for the sake of your clutch and your checkbook. Want to make sure everything's loosened up enough to come off nice for you. Retention nuts off. So next is going to be spinning the spider off. Um, note my handy dandy clutch holder I made. These are a 30 millimeter clutch. Um, these older ones, I got a 33 millimeter for my 04 F6. Yeah, I bought that one, but I ran into a situation where all my old nine tower stuff, and then even these 03 six towers, they're a, they're a 30 millimeter. So I needed to make a, make my own stationary sheave holder. I guess would be the technical term. this bolted together like I should so I can be a little careful as I pull on it.
Ran out and grabbed some, I don't know, picks out of my toolbox in the trailer. I want to clear some of this Loctite out of the threads up top here before we start turning it off, just so we don't grind through all of it the whole way off. Clean as you can have the threads coming off. I just, like I said, I get nervous because I've broken these spiders before. Maybe I'm doing something all together wrong, but just going by the book, you know, we do everything by the book around here. This I'm adding in is more precautionary than than anything. Careful, it's hot. This one probably hasn't been off since the factory. It would sure hope that's getting hot enough. No screaming, so that's good. Now, as this cools off, that Loctite's going to start sticking again. So you want to take your time, but you also want to make sure you, you move. You keep listening for it and feeling it for it. Tighten it up. Ooh, there's a screech. You just want to get as far as you can before you got to apply some more heat to it. That's turning pretty easy, so I'm going to shorten this up. gonna be hot so don't go just grabbing it with your bare hands make sure it's loose find a place to set it down so it can cool off that's actually one of the easier ones I've removed uh, sometimes it can be a real bear so next step is I'm gonna go through um, keep your washers keep your washers in order um, 
I try to even keep them in order of which way they were facing, what order they were in on the shaft, just to keep everything as much the same um, from the factory, if you will. But I'm going to go through, I'm going to take all of them through the parts washer and really clean everything up. There's years of belt dust and, and other crap on there. Um, but then we're going to take some time with these picks and really clean those threads out good. So they're clean, clean, clean so that we can uh, reapply Loctite to clean threads and have a good seal when we go to put it back together.